Welcome to a new tutorial from Prime TV. This one is about creating a drop down menu yourself uh, by using Prime Flex. I'll be using a Prime NG, but this applies to Prime React, Prime View, and Prime Faces as well. Uh, the difference is just for interactivity where you need to open and close the drop down. Uh, the, the other stuff is more or less the same. So let's check out the package JSON. We have um, Prime NG, Prime Icons, and Prime Flex. Prime Flex must be version 3 and newer. If you check out the styles, we have the Prime um, NG theme, Prime Icons, Prime NG Core, and Prime Flex. Let's go to app.compon.html and let's start. Let's test to see if we have it. Yes. Um, I'm, I need to center my drop down, so I will start with. By the way, let me open Prime Flex website as well in case I need some, you know, search. I need to search some classes. Okay, um, because it says CSS Util, I render a lot of classes, so although uh, I can keep most of them in my mind, still is something like a cheat sheet is quite useful. So let's call this div uh, flex. Uh, by the way, this is using a plugin for VS Code that we have written. So it contains a lot of built-in classes here. This is from Prime Tech. My colleague has written this. So um, it gives you um, the whole list of the Prime Flex classes as well. Okay, also let's go to styles. I need to add the font from the theme that I'm using, which is the Saga's uh, font. If I'm using a material theme, that will be uh, Roboto. And background color would be another CSS variable from um, from the theme. Okay, let's create the drop down. So it will be it will be a, a div to start with. Let's um, create uh, a label and the icon. And will be drop down. Shaping up. Um, this should be flex align items centering. And I will just add the margin. Let's create a border. So for borders, we have a couple of alternatives as well. Mm, so let's see what we have for border. This is the border width. And for border color, we have border gray 300 maybe or maybe 500 let's round them and maybe add some padding here okay this looks better okay so now what we can add is the you know the drop down menu part this one goes to frame faces we have a couple of more libraries more coming up soon. And prime view. Let's see how it looks. Okay, quite ugly. Right? So let's fix it by adding list none. It removes the dots and headings and margins as well because the URLs have default stuff. Um, let's add
some margins to this one or maybe this one okay text let's see what we have text no underline yeah okay good guess and let's give it a color text 800 maybe eight yeah and for this one as well nine okay failed compile hmm. okay maybe I can increase sorry decrease it the padding's so y is vertical, x is horizontal. Okay. Better. All right. So um, let's try to separate this div and set it to position absolute. Okay. Shadow. Volatile. Yep. Looks good. Okay. The border is a bit too much, maybe. Okay. Mm. 400. And let's add some padding to the div. Okay. Mm. Looks good, I think usable enough let's add some hover effects to these ones hover um, gray or 200 okay i like it I think we also have transition all for adding some transition. Transition 200 as well. That's possible. You can see there is a you know slight animation. Okay, now let's try to hide it by default. Now I need to make it a cursor pointer. Mm, these ones as well. And I need to add the style class. I think I've already done it. So this is, I mean, at this point, if you're we are writing, you need some some kind of interactivities. If you're writing Angular, React, View, plain JavaScript, other libraries, you need to uh, add a class or you know some sort of mechanism to open drop down and close it. For this one, we have there are a couple of ways. The style class module can help here, or you can just use regular native. Um, angular animations here like we did in core primary to drop downs so but this is quite easy so I, what I'm saying is that I'm saying p style class and my target is this one the uh, element that I'm attaching it to and I'm trying to open and close next which is this one so you can add any kind of CSS selector here so enter to class 
to uh, plus enter sorry enter from is hidden and enter active class is the animation scaling let's see if it works I think it's enter class okay and you need to add origin okay as well okay let's add leave to class and leave active classes grayed out okay there's also a nice trick called hide on outside click let's see okay okay now it works uh, the rest is adding keyboard accessibility and some screen reader support so that you can use arrow keys and uh, to navigate and for example hitting escape key should you know hide it the rest is uh, regular um, accessibility um, stuff and what I can add is actually you know this is the drop down based on a, a light background so if I use it on another theme like uh, let's say aria let's see how it looks well there are some issues but you know um, we have a trick uh, that I usually use for creating um, surfaces based on the theme so instead of uh, specific um, colors such as let's see what we have border gray what we can use is border 400 and it becomes you know at sorry uh, let's go to prime in g form here you know we have surfaces and each surface you know these colors depending on the theme but we also have surfaces so these are when you use the surfaces for example for a light background we have the surface zero is white and it goes darker but for darker themes it's the other way so the surface zero is the darker so what we can do here is that uh, for you we can border 400 here and text 900 is already we have done so instead of gray for if I use gray that would be an issue but since I'm using text 900 for a dark theme it will be white for a white theme it will be darker right it's the other way and what we see we have the border gray which is not good so what we can do is that um, hover surface 200 so they do not have specific colors like gray white blue it depends surfaces are defined by uh, the theme so it looks much better right of course we can add some border one border round and border 300 as well so we can have a border here and let's see if we have any other gray or something no so right now i've switched you know gray and specific colors to surface colors by using surface colors you ensure that your team whatever team you use it will look good so you know it's always you won't have any you know accessibility issues regarding colors and their their significance okay um now let's wrap this up so in this tutorial we have created a drop down using uh prime flex um 
you can since you, if you're using if you're creating your own drop down you can wrap this inside your own component and reuse it in other pages as well this applies to all other libraries the only difference is that this p style class directive at prime view we also have it as a directive uh, at prime react it's a higher order component that wraps the content and for uh, prime faces we have had it as a you know data attributes the script goes through the document and ap applies these animations for the necessary components so i hope you like it uh, and see you on the next tutorial thank you